Hi guys, it's the end of the night. I totally forgot to film an intro this morning. So this is me 12 and a half hours in. Today I'm doing a get ready with me and I'm trying out the new Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I did a full wear test on TikTok. So you'll see a five and a half hour check-in and then a 12 hour check-in. There is my face. Can you guys see the sparkle? It's kind of hard to tell. Anyway, I have a new sparkle that I'm using from About Face. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Um, this is the Obagi Cleanserm. I just got mine from Skin Beauty by Sam. I have a coupon code, it's Sam25. I've been using this for years. This is the Dime Hyper Glow. I've really been loving this one. It doesn't sting and it just like Makes the skin just feel so nice. It's your vitamin C. A dropper on the face and then a dropper on the neck. The Dime Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It's really slippery. It's got like a really nice slip to it. It's so pretty out today. It finally stopped snowing for us. So we've had like a couple days where we didn't have to get up and go shovel at 6.30 in the morning and it was so nice. Um, today I'm trying a new foundation, so I'm just gonna go in with something that I know works really, really well. This is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. If you are oily, this is a great moisturizer because it's hydrating. I usually do about three pumps, so it just like makes your skin super smooth. It's a really great prep for underneath makeup. I'm just gonna go in with the one that I love the most. This is the L'Oreal Prime Lab 24 Hour Matte Setter. I just know it works so well. I love the essence, the five in one, but it is very, very, very mattifying. And sometimes I feel like it's almost a bit too much. So I just put this all over my face. I don't take it down my neck because my neck's not oily. The e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. I just take that down the sides of my nose. We're gonna put a little bit here and a little bit here. So the color that I got is ginger, and this is the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation from Laura Mercier. This is what the packaging looks like, so it is pretty, and then the back just looks like this, and then it is a pump top, and then the color is on the bottom. It might be too dark for me right now because I'm not freshly self-tanned. I got it for the color I am when I'm tanned. We'll have a look and see. Ew, it feels really oily. I'm putting olive oil on my skin. Okay, I definitely needed a fresh self tan for this. I don't know about this, guys. It feels like I have an oil on my face. Like, you know, like a facial oil that you're gonna put on your skin at nighttime? That's how it feels. That's the tech, like, that's the, the finish or the, what is the word? Consistency or, like, I've got, I'm literally just putting olive oil or a face oil on my skin, and I hate that. Oh, that's, that's such a bad cut. What was I doing? I mean, I feel like the color is blending into my body okay. I feel like my neck and my face were just really, really pale. Like looking patchy all on my neck. Like, I feel like I need so much product to get it like an actual even, even like finish. We'll see. Sometimes things surprise me. Sometimes I'm like, I hate this, and then I end up loving it. it I don't know if you guys can just see it's oily. It feels like a facial oil. So we're just gonna keep on blending and just kind of get any excess product on the sponge. And I will say it looks pretty on the skin once you get it on. The skin looks nice. It has like a nice natural look. I think I've just gotten really spoiled with the Valentino. Like I'm so obsessed with that foundation. I'm just like in love with it. I compare everything to the Valentino. And maybe that's not good. Maybe I shouldn't do that, but like, I just love the Valentino so much. Okay, I think we're definitely making this color work. I think this is definitely my color when I do have a fresh spray tan or self tan. But well, like I said, I'm just a little pale at the moment, so I'm gonna get one on Sunday and it's Friday today. So I'm not super tan. This is the new Mac by Richard Quinn. The packaging is so pretty. I saw it in the Mac store and I was like, oh, that's nice. I, oh my God, it's actually fabric. The actual packaging is like a satin fabric. Do you guys see that? It's so silky. And then it's this bronzer kind of blush. I don't really like them when they're like this because then I feel like you have to be really careful not to get one in the other. And it does say on the website, this is supposed to be like non-comedogenic non and not cause acne. It specifically says those words. Cause you know, I, me and Mac, 
sometimes we have issues for that reason because they do make me break out but apparently this one this one says it doesn't so i'm just trying to not get the pink color i don't know if this is considered a bronzer or not but it's kind of got a little bit of a pinkish tone to it so i don't know if it's more considered a blush definitely got a little bit of a pinky tone to it but I think it'll be okay once I powder and everything. I don't think I'm gonna contour my nose with it. I think I should have definitely just used this as more of like a mix, but I didn't know it was gonna be so pink. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go in with my Glow Skin Beauty underneath the chin. This foundation feels tacky. Like as I'm trying to apply this bronzer, it's like almost like sticky or something. Like it feels like the oil in it is like sticking to my brush. She says gross. <laughs> Are you gonna wear makeup when you grow up? You don't know? When I was little, I used to watch my mom get ready and she'd curl her lashes and put mascara on. And I remember telling her, I will never do that when I grow up. I know. What a shady hater, huh? Like I was totally being so mean to my mom. Huh? Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> Sometimes it's not a good idea to say I would never do that. It's like when you have kids and you're like, I would never let my kids do this if I had kids. And then once you have kids, you let your kids do that and you're like, oh my God, I'm such a hypocrite. What a jerk I was before I had children. That's usually what happens. I mean, my sister has said that. She's like, I remember like watching you do things and I'd be like, oh, I would never do that. And she's like, and now I totally do it. <laughs> she's like, I'm sorry. I'm like, it's fine. It's just part of life. You don't know until you know. I'm gonna do the sides of the nose. Oh, I just realized I didn't do my highlighter. This is the Laura Mercier Celestial Light. I'm seeing everyone doing like the Meredith, can't remember her last name, technique on like Instagram or um, on YouTube and stuff. I was like, maybe I should do that. And then I was like, I can't, I just can't do it. I can't go over my eyes like that. I think that the technique of applying with your fingers, like I've done that before where I've just applied my makeup with my fingers. It is actually really beautiful. I used to apply my Estee Lauder like that. I think she has really beautiful skin. So for her, she can get away with like doing a lot and it would still look fine because her skin's really pretty. Like she has beautiful skin. God, if my skin was like that, I would never wear makeup. She is stunning all by herself but i think the problem is is that when when you're older and if you have like texture or you know not the best skin or not not as smooth as hers it can just look very it can just not look good and it's not going to wear well but she's young so she can do it you can do a lot of stuff when you're young i saw rach leary doing it i didn't actually watch the video yet this is so tiny i wish i could get in there a little bit better it's just like too i want more of the pink in this Ooh, that's so pretty too. Gosh darn it. I need more of the pink, Mac. Can we just come out with this color with the pink? I wonder what would happen if I just mix them all together. Maybe I'll try that in another video. Cause this pink color is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love the pink color. I think I do need to put just a little bit of my bronzer up on my, my forehead because it looks kind of pink up there where I put the MAC one. Okay, I've got 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So I probably won't finish the whole look, but we can at least do the base and you guys can see. So this is the Givenchy. 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 Yeah. yeah. Wait, when does school start for right now? Like 40 Well, it's a two hour delay. So if daddy normally takes you at 7.45, then we'll leave here at 9.45. Wait, so how do you have 10 minutes? You said it's 9.35. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you silly Billy. I thought we were in 9.30. Um, nine. Mm. It's not feeling oily anymore, so that's good. That's a bonus, because it was feeling really oily and I hated the way it felt. But like once it kind of sits, I'm not feeling like it's extra sticky where I'm powdering or anything like that, so that's good. We're gonna try and minimize that cut there because it's so deep. I really sliced myself. Oh. I was shaving my face. Oh. You know me, babe. Okay, 
we've got two new lip liners. These are about about face. I got them from Ulta. It's the Matte Fix Lip Pencil in the color Happy Ending and Cradle. So we're gonna give these a go. Do you wanna open these for me as well? God, you're such a helper, <laughs> aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this one is the color Cradled. Oh, this is a little browner than I was hoping. Oh, I know, doesn't it look a bit brown? It's a bit brown, yeah. Are you needing me to, are you needing me to open anything else? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. This is too brown for me. I just really don't like it. She really doesn't like it. Let's see this one. Ooh, that one's really light. You just can't find the perfect color. Oh, I was so excited, but those are not my color. Oh, rats. That literally looks like I have foundation on, your... on my lips. Whoa. I think I might like this one if I change up my liner around the edge. So I'll go in with my pillow talk. Let's see if we can just, I just feel like this is way too brown. I think that made it a little bit better, but that color cradled is it's far too brown for me. But I feel like this lighter one almost works like a little nude lipstick. They're really pigmented and creamy, so I feel like I can almost just go in with like a lip gloss. I'll do raspberry, or I'm sorry, berry by Dior, just to add a little bit more color into my lips because they just look a little a little bit brown, that's better. What time is it, timekeeper? It is 9.42. Oh, crapper, I gotta get dressed. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to leave the house looking a bit wild. I think what I'll do is I'm just gonna put a little color in the crease. We're just gonna have to skip brows and put on a pair of sunnies. So I'm just going in the crease with whatever is on my brush. Okay, then I got these new ones from About Face. It's like a liquid eyeshadow. And we're just gonna pop those on the lid. These are really pretty. I feel like the less you use, the better. So when you kind of sheer them out, that's when you get the most sparkle and like that's when they look the best. Look at that. <gasps> Oh my god, these are so pretty. They really are beautiful. I probably even used a bit too much. And they just like make the lid sparkle so well. <gasps> Look at that. That's so pretty. I see I put too much on that side. Now I need to make it the same. They are pigmented, same with the lip liners. Like they're just super duper pigmented. I have a new mascara actually from ColourPop to try out. Mom. Yeah. Are we still going to school? Yeah, baby, I'm just finishing up. It's 9.45. I know, boo-boo. Lily doesn't start school until like 8.15 or 10 or whatever day it is today. So I've got time. I'm just gonna put mascara on and then I'm just gonna put some sweats on. Will you get my sweatshirt off the dryer for me? There's a sweatshirt and sweatpants. It's the Abercrombie one that's kind of brown and then the sweats are gray. Do you see them? This is real life, guys. Okay, this is the Level Up Lengthening Mascara from ColourPop. We're gonna give it a go. They're like kind of like thin. They're not like real sweatpants. No, there's, there's sweats. I folded them up yesterday. Okay, we'll just look for anything gray. Okay, can you just bring in the whole pile then? Because I know it's there. I literally just folded it up. Thank you. You all ready? These two, right? Okay guys, so here's the eyes. I mean, obviously they look wild without the eyebrows. So I'll come back. I gotta go take my kids to school real quick. But look how pretty that sparkle is. I love it. 
Okay, I'll be back. Oh, I have to brush this off. Oh my God, it looks so ridiculous. I can't leave the house like this. Oh, yikes. Looking all crazy at, at drop off. Okay, I'm back. This just shows you the power of an eyebrow, <laughs> doesn't it? Like seriously, it looks so weird without eyebrows. Like the whole look does not look good. So I'm just gonna pull this back up. We're gonna put some eyebrows on because I cannot even. Also this bronzer from the MAC one is way too ashy for me. I went out in the sun and I was like, ooh, that's not cute. So definitely would not recommend it as a bronzer if you're someone of my color because it is really cool toned. I really wanna get them microbladed again. It just hurts so bad. <laughs> Like it really was, I've done, I've done a lot of things, including needles in my life. And microblading my eyebrows was definitely the most painful thing I've had. It just is such a long time of just cutting you over and over again, you know? Like it really is just uncomfortable. Potenza, that hurts as well. That was a bit spicy for sure. Vampire facials don't hurt. Surprisingly enough, my uh, breast lift was not painful. I was just really exhausted and tired and it took like physically just like took a lot out of me, but it wasn't actually painful. Like I can't say like it hurt more uncomfortable than anything, but microblading your eyebrows hurts. They cut over the same cut over and over again and it's like, youch. It just gets like really tender and it's like so like tedious and like time consuming that it's not like a quick thing that you're done. It's like, it just takes forever. Okay, it's already looking better. I'm already feeling like myself. That was weird. It just was not right. Also, I feel like this lip is really dark and I don't know if I love it. I'm all jacked up today. Like honestly, why, why late start? Just call it a day. You know what I mean? The whole late start thing. Because then like, it's what time is it? It's 10 o'clock right now. I just dropped off one child. Now I've got 30 more minutes before I drop off the other child. Then I have to leave the house at two to go pick up one child and then head over and get my other child who gets out at three something. So I'm literally, I've got like a couple of hours before I have to go and get kids again. It's just so silly. Don't they know people work? <sighs> so I'm just gonna like run around like a crazy person today. I think all my pens are running out and I can't remember which ones are new and which ones are old. I think this one's old as well. I'm taking the grande brow. we're gonna go ahead and take bliss underneath the brow and we're just gonna highlight that okay then I do feel like I need a little bit more in the crease because um, I just didn't do very much so I'm just gonna take my normal colors and we're just gonna pop those in the crease and hope I don't mess up my mascara I just need a little bit more definition. I feel like I don't have anything there. Okay, I am gonna take my slightly smaller brush. This is the Ariel one. Is it Ariel or Ariel? I don't really know. I'm just taking Comfort though. And I'm just putting that in the crease as well. Okay, I'm feeling more like myself. I was feeling weird. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is take a touch of this other one it's called fractal the other one i used was uh i'm sorry that was not the color i did use tin pen alley which is very yellow i'm gonna take refract and i'm gonna put a little bit of that on top because i've just wiped most of it off now this one's got more of a little bit of a kind of mushroomy gray color and we're just gonna mix the two Oh my god, these are amazing. I'm telling you what, guys. If you haven't gotten them yet, you need to. These are so beautiful. I think they were like around $16. I'll link everything today. I got them at Ulta. Are you for real? Like that... That's insane. I hardly used any. Like you don't need much at all. And it is just... So beautiful. Look at that. 
Oh, am I even focused? Doubtful. Yeah, that's so pretty. I love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my inner corner before I forget. This is just Bliss from the Red Aspen palette. I say this all the time. I just love this palette. Like, I just, I don't know. I can't stop using it. I have other palettes and I think they're nice, but nothing is as good as this to me. I, it's just got every color that suits me the best. And it's got everything I need in one. So why would you want anything else? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing more that I need in my life when I have this palette. It's just the best. I feel like this lip is so dark for me. I don't know if I'm loving it. Okay, I'm just taking the Ben Nye Super White. I always like to watch one side transform compared to the other when I do this powder because it really is magic. Like, it's so amazing how it just lifts the eye and just makes you look so much more awake look at the difference this is looking sad you have to buff it in though do not bake with this it's way too white and way too pigmented i feel like it'll look really really like just too much you don't want it to look crazy but you do want it to be just enough where it actually brightens up your face See how it just lifts the face? It's amazing. Right, I've got a new blush to try as well. I'm so excited. Um, I got two from the House Labs. They are called the House Labs Color Fuse Blush. Pomelo Peach, Pomelo Peach. I don't know how you say it. That ColourPop mascara did quite good actually. It's so affordable. I feel like it looks really great. It really lengthens. Um, okay, so here's what the packaging looks like. So it's going to be a fingerprint central in two seconds, but you guys got to see it pretty for a minute. Oh, that color. I don't know why I sniffed it. It just looks sniffable. Okay, we're going to pop that right up here because when I looked in the mirror, I looked so ashy in the car because of that bronzer and blush that I used for MAC. I don't know if it's just, it's just not my color. I think it's for someone a little bit more fair, maybe. That is epic. That's literally just perfection. You do need this blush in your... Oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, you don't need much of this. It's very pigmented. That is really nice. Amazing. I'm so happy I got that. I was like, is it going to be good? I don't know. We'll see. Nope. It's a Vina. It's a very, very big Vina. That is just so gorgeous. I'm so obsessed with that blush. You are a, such a beaut. I love you. Okay, I think I need to like lighten up this lip. I'm just feeling a bit sad about it, to be honest. I'm just going to take a little bit of Boldly Bare. And I'm just gonna kinda mm. it's just so brown. A cradle for me is not the winner. I don't like cradle. But these are some new things from Sephora. This is the sheer matte lip balm in the color apricot. It's a really pretty peachy color. I love it. It reminds me so much of, oh God, with the natural collection one that I used to use. Do you guys remember that like years ago? It is a bit lumpy. There's like bits in it, which is a bit weird. That's a really pretty color. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of Myth right in the center just to lighten it up a little tiny bit. Yeah, see, I just need, I need more peach colors in my life. Like for me, I can't do this brown stuff. And then I think I'm just gonna go in with gummy bear. I mean, I feel like it would just look, oh, that was a lot. That's the winner. That's the one, that's a good combo right there. That's really, really pretty. The foundation is looking nice. I was a little bit of a meanie about it at first. You guys know I was getting a little dramatic about it. I'm just gonna kinda 
tarnish at my pores a little bit. I feel like I didn't let my bake sit long enough. Give it an extra brush. Feeling much more like myself now. These, I'm telling you what, these about face eye paints, the fractal. Can you guys even tell? I might have to turn the light off so you guys can tell because the light's just like, is just highlighting it so much. But this blush, okay, let's set my face. You know what I just realized? I never did my eyeliner. And I never did my winged liner. It's okay, we'll just look fresh and bright today. Sometimes I feel like your eyes just look really like round and like fresh, like a young spring chicken when you do that. Um, oh, the hair's gotten a bit mangled now. Um, anyway, oh yeah, it's really mangled. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? Anyway, I picked this up at Ulta yesterday. It smells so good. It's the Giorgio Armani My Way Intense. You guys, when I, I just saw it and I was like, oh, that looks cute. I like the packaging. My dogs are going wild. I saw the packaging and I was like, oh, that's fun. Let me have a sniff. And then I sprayed it and I was like, oh my God, I didn't plan on getting a new perfume because I just got that other one from Carolina Herrera. It is so addictive. Like I just kept on sniffing it. I sprayed me and Lily and like, Literally all day after that, I was like, wow. Like, I just kept on sniffing it. It was so yummy. Let me pull up the notes. It's very floral. It's so good. My Way Intense. It's like a pink bottle. It doesn't... Oh, there we go. If I hold it up against you, so see how it, like, looks all pink? It's really cute. It's a classic floral. It's got orange blossom, tuberose, and vanilla. Floral perfume opens with bright notes of orange blossom from Egypt, followed by an intense heart of tuberose from India, sandalwood from New Caledonia, Oh, Caledonia takes an addictive creamy turn as it meets a sweet vanilla perfume from Madagascar to balance the intense woman's fragrance. And that's what it smells like. It smells like a sweet, creamy floral. It's like got this like, like this comfort of like a creamy ice cream or something. And then it's got floral, like you can definitely smell the tuberose. I feel like my hair looks so ridiculous right now. I just need to like throw it up in a ponytail or something. It's so wild. And this little piece is wild too. Okay, I gotta go take my other child to school and then I'll be back. But here's the finished look with the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I gotta say, now that it's on, it's looking really beautiful. It's looking flawless. My skin looks really pretty. The color looks great. I didn't like it at first because I felt like it felt very oily, but it doesn't feel oily anymore. And I feel like everything looks really really pretty on the skin so i'm gonna do a tiktok wear test today we'll see how it wears over on tiktok i'll do a halfway through the day check-in and then a full 12 hours later and we'll see what it looks like because honestly like at first i hated it and now i'm like actually it looks really pretty and sometimes that happens it's okay it's okay if you're a little bit wrong at first so i started doing my makeup at nine so go follow me on tiktok you guys can check it out over there see how it wears off wears all oh, I can't talk see how it wears throughout the day um but as of right now it looks beautiful there's a couple things I want to talk about before I go take Phoenix real quick the things that were the winners of this haul absolutely this house labs pomelo or pomelo peach or however you say it it is so beautiful I am just obsessed with this blush everyone needs this if you like a good peach blush um this perfume amazing smells so good it's floral it's creamy it's yummy and these little eye paints from about face i am obsessed they are so sparkly but i have the color what did i say refract and tin pan alley i'd probably say refract is my favorite out of the both because this one's quite golden and i like this one because uh, but they're really pretty mixed together actually i'm very impressed with this mascara the level up lengthening mascara from ColourPop did a great job i feel like my eyelashes look nice and long for me i would probably skip the cradle i don't like that that was way too brown and i think this was decent what color was this i mean they're a great formula happy endings but i think it was too much more like a concealer color so i don't think those ones are for me i feel like i have better liners that i would use more um i think this apricot lipstick is lovely from sephora that's really nice and so far 
I do like the way this looks. We'll see how it wears. Thank you so much for watching. I'll link everything in the description box below. And I'll see you later. Bye. Have a happy Friday. I'm probably going to put this up today. So happy Friday. I've been waiting on a, a video to get approved, but I haven't heard back. So I think I'm just going to put this up today. And then hopefully to next week, we'll have some try-ons. But as of right now, you just my face. So thank you guys. I'll see you guys later.